Entrepreneurs Channel TV, creating a platform of expression for every woman. My name is Akintola Adjela Bolatsdo. I'm the CEO of Peculiar Touch. I make up, I tie gimme, and I also make up to gimme. How did I stumble across this? I started when I left um, the university about two years ago. That was 2017. Then I learned how to make up because I didn't want to sit idle at home. I wanted to have, actually have a skill of my own to empower myself and not just sit at home doing nothing. From the popular addicts and I don't handle the devil's workshop. Then I started learning how to make up and tie gimme. I learned that for about six months or less. Then I went for my youth service. During my youth service, I also continued the training. So then I learned how to make up to gimme and how to tie different styles of gimme. Then from there, the name Peculiar Touch came up because of my peculiarity. Then my friend gave me the name Miss Peculiar. Then from there, I extracted the peculiar and left the miss for them. Then I started the peculiar touch last year, December. Welcome to another edition of Amazon's Enterprise. In the studio with me today is the CEO of Peculiar Storch Beauty Panel. You are welcome to our studio. Thank you. You are looking stunning and beautiful. Thank you. Okay, can you please tell our viewers about yourself and your brand? Okay. My name is Akintola Adjela Bolatsdo, the CEO of Peculiar Storch. I started this business December 2018. Mm -hmm. I started learning how to make up um, 2017 when I left the university. And not to sit at home waiting for my call up letter from the National Youth Service Corps, NYC. I started learning how to sew. And even when I was in camp, I continued my stage training and I went into makeup and tying of gimme. And even though in my service, even though it wasn't compulsory, but I felt I needed more knowledge on how to make up and tie gimme. Then I started learning how to do that. Then, across, then during the training, my boss also taught me how to make up to give me. So now I can make up, I can pay give me, and I can also make up to give me. So how did you come about your brand name? Okay, my brand name started from when I was in secondary school. It started from my nickname. People call me, I have a friend that is called Sa Peculia, and we are very close, and we do things together. We do things the same way. Then from there, they're calling me Miss Peculia, Miss Peculia, Miss Peculia. Then when I wanted to give my brand name, I started from Miss Peculiar Touch. Then I thought I was not looking fine. Then I gave it Beauty by Tito. Then I went out and I saw another person show. And the name, the brand name was House, House of Tito. I felt that this person has copied me. Let me go back to my Peculiar. Then I just started Peculiar Touch. So is this business your first part of course? Yes. So how long have you been in the business? I started learning in 2017. Um, and since then, actually, I've been getting clients when I started learning. During the training, people have been coming, okay, come and draw brows for me, come and just only apply foundation, only do this, only do that. So, will I say officially, I started last year. So, how did you get your initial working capital? I got my initial working capital from my wonderful mother, engineer Dr. Mrs. S.A. Akintola. So, how did you stumble on this business? How did I stumble on this? I started actually, like I said, I don't want to sit at home. And following the um, popular adage that says, an idle hand is the devil's workshop, not to sit at home doing anything from June to November. And unfortunately, I didn't even serve November, I served January. So now imagine sitting at home from June to January without doing anything. It would actually be useless. 
and in life every minute of our time counts. So we just have, I just had to find myself doing something. So mommy advised me to go for the new call. I said, okay, she should look for where I will learn it. That I won't look for anything, that I don't want to learn anything. She did that and she gave me the money. She gave me everything I actually needed, everything I used to do. Even the makeup bag I use, I don't I don't use makeup bag. It's my mommy's laptop bag I'm presently using. So she actually encouraged me and she don't have to do that. So, Mama, do you have any other business apart from this? Um, currently, I should I say I do, and oh, I don't, because I'm just I'm still coming up, I'm still learning. Knowledge is continuous, learning is continuous. That's true. Do you have a training school? I don't. Okay. Do you have any formal training in this line of business? Yes, like I said, I do. So how profitable is makeup? Okay, business. generally makeup business is a very profitable business. But if you like say this side of the country or this side of the world or I don't understand. People just see it as okay, it it does makeup. People don't look them in depth like okay, what do these people do? What is their motive behind this training? They don't value it. Even if you move house, if they feel any lady making no brown the day like this, they'll, they'll feel she's an adult or she's trying to sell something. They don't see it as something to enhance the beauty. And should I say the force is from we ladies ourselves? Because for everything we do, people tend to abuse it. So the way they abuse it, they will, people will actually point fingers. Then from there, they will start, they will start looking down. Can you please discuss some of your challenges with our viewers? Okay, the number one challenge I had was number one was motivating myself to learn out. So learning it. So since I didn't motivate myself, throughout the training was a challenge for me. I'll start from the vows because if you go to where they learn, the first thing they will start from is how to draw the vows. They will teach you how to apply foundation. How to apply foundation, even a baby can learn it. Or how to draw the vows. Join the brows on yourself at least takes a day, at least one week to do. But because I don't see myself as knowing it, I actually learned it for a month. And even learning it for a month, I can't still call myself a perfect person. Because sometimes I'll still draw it and put them, no, 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 this one should be like this, this one next time, do it like this, do it like this. So I'm still learning. That's one challenge I had. Financially, I didn't have challenges, so thanks to my mother. It's a very wonderful. So what's your take on women empowerment? My take on women empowerment. Women empowerment. To start with, you don't we don't encourage people to learn something. Maybe because I was I was pushed to learning it. I never found anything good in it. But when I started learning it with my own time, that I know I yet I have to sleep now or I have to go and do this now. Okay, no, I have to go and learn how to do this. So, empowering of women, it starts from yourself. You empower, if you don't empower yourself as a human being, you cannot, you cannot grow. You have to empower yourself. You have to know that, yes, this thing, I want to know it. Then from there, you can find the encouragement around you. That, okay, don't worry, you can do this. Okay. You tell people, this is what I want to do. How will I do this? How will like, okay, okay, no, do it like this. Do it like this, do it like this. Don't just go straight. You can also, because the only intention was, after I learn how to make up and tie gel, I'm not going to learn any other thing again. Myself, I can't tie gel on my head. How would I do that? The thing will look beautiful on me. Then I started learning how to make auto gel. Then from there, I started making auto gel for people. Ah, the auto gel is fine. She knows how to make. She even knows how to stone. Ah, she can stone very well. Even clothes, I stone clothes. Ah, she can stone clothes. Ah, she's this, she's that. So from there, I started. I started empowering myself with what I do. So nobody will empower you as a woman. You have to empower yourself. So who are your role models? Okay, my first role model is my boss, Trendy Ideal. She's my first role model. Because she, she didn't give up on me. She didn't. She every other boss, I'm sure with ah, with the way she will be teaching me how to draw it. No, just check the um on that clinical, check the upper, check the lower lap, check this. I'm sure if I was if I was in her shoes, I would have sent the training. 
I know what I'm capable. I will like, because I will ask them. You cannot do it. Just go. I will give. I will give the person the money. That no, I take your training money. Go. But she didn't give up on me. Then some other people I see on YouTube, where they tie gilly, actually they style me. Like this, I'm VJ gilly, Otenera, and so on. So how can you help upcoming women entrepreneurs? What we do we are can help upcoming women is by telling them that you will and you can. So how do you deal with difficult customers? The difficult customers. To start with. I'm a difficult person. So dealing with someone like me should be easy. You just to me I just feel you want to deal with a difficult customer, the way I do, I'll give them what they want. Then by the time they see it themselves, if they're happy with it, they will go with it. But if they are not happy with it, they'll be asked for the way out. Okay, you are you are oh I will ask out then you tell them, you no, know, it's a, so because you wanted this, because you insisted on this. There are some people that if you are making up it for someone, you check the person's face. Some people have round face, some long face. Some people's eyes are small. Some people they have large eyes. So you can't expect me that I have a very small eye, a very small lips, to start doing something that is meant for someone that with a very big eye or very big lips. I'll look, I'll, I'll look too smallish. I have to bring, I have to do something that will bring out my face. So from there we have some customers that they will see some they will see some pictures, they will tell you this is what they want. Mm -hmm. And if you check the thing and their face, they don't they don't match. They can't do it. You are if you tell them no 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 they, no you can't do this, this is it. If they insist on this is what I want, then give it to them. So with that they will know that yes, okay, this does not fit me. They were actually they were actually proving difficult. They will later succumb to what you want them to do. So that's the way you can do it. So how do you normally get your customers? How do I get my customers? I get my customers by the flyers I put online. I'll make up myself being beautiful or not beautiful. If it's not fine, at least I'll say, ah, who did your makeup? I did it myself. Well, I'm just playing, you know, you want to do it. I can do it on your face. It's better than this. Okay, no one will call you. You will call me. You can pull call me. So who does not know how to do it? Then my boyfriend actually also did something wonderful for me. He was always ready to make e flyers for me. He would control my Instagram page. He would tell me, no, you don't post pictures like this. Post this, do this, do this. So with that, I'm also getting my clients. So where do you see your business in five years? God knows. Only really God knows. But the next five years, no, nobody even knows the next three minutes. The next one second, nobody knows. So let's say the next five years, God knows. But Personally, I want to have a very big beauty parlor. I, I will do. I won't learn how to make it because I don't even like it. I don't like making of hair. But I will actually do something like I will have a beauty parlor with different sections. There you will make your hair, you will make your nails, everything you need, even your clothes. You will buy it there. So you won't have the cost to start going from one store to another. Everything you will need will be in one particular place. So how do you think the government can help women entrepreneurs? What the government can do is organizing of seminars and telling women that it is not only one job. One job is not the only lucrative job we have. We have so many jobs that women can do. After seeing some jobs online now, how they need um, table work. How they need table work. After they want to learn it, very, very beautiful. So we can organize seminars, encourage women that, okay, you don't stay at home, don't feel you are waiting for government job. Government to give you a job, you find government job by God's grace. You find a private job by God's grace. But think that empower yourself. Don't use your money. Don't use your money outside. Do something. Do some little things. If it's change, change you can make. Make the change. change. Say this before you know it. God is faithful. Before you know it, he would he would he himself he would open ways for you in such a way that you would also ah that's that with change. That's that with this. That's that with that. And then learn how to make it, just, just draw, just draw, continue, do it. You will see that with time. Don't wait, the government too can actually empower people. Okay, what do you need to start with? Don't collect, I don't have people to collect loan from the government. What do you need to start with? Okay, start like this, okay. Okay, this is what we can give you as the government. Empower yourself. So please kindly share your contact details with our viewers. Okay. Once again, my name is Akinsola Kovacito Adiola. This is 
see your peculiar stuff. I don't have an Instagram. I don't have a Twitter handle. But my Instagram page, peculiar on that for touch. Then um, my phone number zero eight one four two six one two five seven five. Once again, zero eight one four two six one two five seven five. Thank you. Thank you.